Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name's Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I'm going to share with you a haul from the recently updated Scentsy clearance section. So let's get started. So about a week ago, Scentsy randomly updated some items um, in their clearance section and in their um, licensed items, like their Disney licensed items. So um, the summer collection items were put into the clearance section at up to 40% off. And then um, the Disney items, as well as the Marvel items, were also on sale. I believe they were 20% off. And that wasn't just clearance items, it was just all of the Disney and Marvel items that are currently available. So that was really cool. If there was any Disney items in the clearance section, they were even more um, deeply discounted, like the Villains Collection and the Villains Warmer. Um, and it was like a 24 hour sale, so the Villains Warmer was on sale for like 32 bucks or something crazy. Um, so there was some really good deals and I'm really excited to share with you what I got. I did open this because um, I'm expecting my scent of the month kit. It was supposed to come today and I wanted to make sure it wasn't in this box and it's not. Um, but I haven't really, you know, I wanted to wait to dive into this with you guys. So I did get all my items that I ordered. The only thing that um, disappeared from my cart before I could place my order was a Fiji flower in the fragrance flowers. So I was gonna get a couple of those and those went quick. So I was able to get everything else that I wanted. Okay, I picked up um, another laundry liquid in the Fiji flower. This is just such a beautiful scent. And I love it in all the things. I love it in wax, pods. Um, I haven't tried it in the fragrance flower, but I do have one. But it's really, really good in laundry. Um, and I was a little bit hesitant at first because they only had the laundry liquid in clearance. They didn't have the, whiff, the whiffs that came with it. But, you know, I was thinking that um, I think Luna washer whiffs would work well with this. So... It was a good deal. I know I like the fragrance. I decided to go ahead and pick this up. So speaking of fragrance flowers, I was able to get a couple fragrance flowers in the Blue Agave Nectar, and this is in the Darling Dahlia style. So um, fragrance flowers are like reed diffusers, reed oil diffusers, where you have the little string reed that goes into the oil. Um, it soaks it up and disperses it into a little flower that produces scent. So it's really nice for an area that you don't have a plug-in or to fragrance small areas. Um, I've only actually tried a couple fragrance flower scents. The first one I tried was Luna and I have an area um, in my landing when you walk in I have a split level. So you walk in and there's this little landing area and you can go downstairs or upstairs and I don't have an outlet there so these are perfect for that area the first one I tried was Luna and it was nice but I'll tell you what this um, blue agave nectar is much stronger and it's it's just so pleasant to just walk by and just get this nice sweet summery scent when you walk by just this hint of ooh, that's that's good um, I did feel like my blue agave is that what it's called? Blue Agave Melon? Yeah. Blue Agave Melon um, didn't last as long as the Luna, but it was worth it to me because it did produce a much stronger scent. So I actually got two of those because, um, yeah, they were 40% off, so can't go wrong there. These also make great gifts for people. You know, they don't have to have a warmer or whatever. Um, for them to be able to enjoy those. We have a, we do have a warmer in here. I'll, I'll share that last. I'll save the best for last. Wax. We'll get to that in a second. This isn't that big of a haul. Um, just, you know, like I said, some stuff I picked up on clearance or on sale. Okay. 
Um, I got some pods. I got two pod packs in the Fiji flower. And I just can't say enough good things about this scent. The whole collection, all four fragrances in it were nice. But um, Fiji flower, blue agave, and melon were my favorite. This is really, really nice. I have this going um, in a few warmers right now. And I'm really enjoying it. So stocked up on those got a couple pods of those and then i did get a pod pack as well of the blue agave melon blue agave and melon it's just a really okay so fiji flower is um it's a floral but it's done so nice it's not powdery it's just a beautiful floral i've heard people say it reminds them of like a fancy hair product like shampoo or something I'm not sure about that but I I just love that and then this one is more of a fruity scent just a sweet fruity and it's a really good performer so I had to pick up another pod of those pod pack um, the pods if you're not familiar with these I'll just tell you really quick they are for our um, fan systems we have different fan systems we have our mini fan diffusers our wall fan diffusers and then our sensi goes and it's just a little fan that has a motor that powers it that um pushes fragrance or pushes air up into these that have little scent beads in them and it releases scent and each um pod pack i believe it's a pack lasts a, at least 120 hours so um, I feel like they last longer, but they're, they're really nice. Um, I use them for all kinds of things and all kinds of places, and they're excellent for traveling, by the way, for a hotel room. Okay, so before we get to the warmer, let's talk about wax. So as I mentioned, um, the Disney and licensed items were 20% off including you know current stuff in the catalog and then if there was stuff in clearance they were even um deep, more deeply discounted so since all of the marvel stuff was 20 percent off i got three bars of marvel nine realms now i did have a little bit of well I, yeah i think i had a little bit of leakage in here and this is a bar that um the red bars sometimes tend to, uh, the oils tend to leak a little bit more, and it's super hot here, but it wasn't bad. I mean, the wax itself still looks good. Let me check the other ones. Yeah, so the wax isn't goopy or anything. It doesn't even look sweaty. Um, and it didn't look like it got on any of my other products, so oh, I love this. It's such a wonderful, fresh, masculine scent. It's really unique, um, but it's a really strong performer. And I hear people talk a lot about they feel like Disney bars um, aren't as strong. And I think it just depends on the bar. I've had some that are excellent performers. Um, and this one is technically a Marvel bar, not, well, Disney owns Marvel. But um, it's, it's a really great performer. I only use about half as much in this um, wax as I normally use in my wax so this is excellent it's in the um, fresh category and since he describes it as a heroic mix of lime zest and blue tea keeps you connected to the universe while lavender lightning really packs a punch so you have um, lime blue tea and lavender lightning I don't know what type of lavender that is exactly but there is lavender in there i don't pick up lavender when i smell it i love lavender but um i get kind of a just a like a fresh cologne type scent really nice it is worth the extra 50 cents for the license bar because you really get your money's worth on this scent um and it will be it's in the current catalog it will be in the upcoming catalog so got three bars of that and um a spoiler alert there are going to be pods in the upcoming catalog in marvel nine realms so a couple months ago they had um a limited time offer of a spider-man 
wall fan diffuser with um, the Marvel Nine Realm Pods. And I got two packs of them. Great performers, lasted forever. Um, but I was kind of hoarding the second pack because it was a limited time offer. Well, Sensi has decided to release a couple different licensed um, pods. And for the first time in the catalog, and Marvel Nine Realms is one of them. So I'm really, really excited about that. And you'll also be able to bundle and save with them. So like when they came out, it was that one came out at the same time as um, the Princess True Love Awaits, I think, um, pods. And you couldn't bundle and save on them. So with these, you'll be able to. So buy three, save a dollar. Buy five, get one free. I'm assuming it's going to be the same um, deal as the regular pods in that sense. Okay, so the last thing that I got for wax was a screaming deal in my opinion. And it is the Villains Wax Collection. Okay, so um, if you're not familiar with the Villains Collection, it originally launched last, was it fall or winter? Within the last year, I wanna say like late fall, early winter. If you know exactly when it launched, comment down below. Um, but it was a set of three of the Disney villains um, in wax bars and then um, a really awesome warmer, which I did an unboxing of um, in a different video if you're interested in watching that. And the warmer is, it's amazing. Um, but the waxes. Okay, so let's talk about this. I don't have the scent notes in front of me, but I kind of know what the general notes are. So first of all, since he always does an amazing job with their attention to detail, especially in the license items. So you have this black packaging um, and it's supposed to fold out to kind of be like little books. And then you have this sleeve and I don't think it's going to show up, but on camera, but you have like a little skull and some thorns and then more thorns on the side. So you take that off. And then it says uh, Disney Villains. I love the purple and the black. And then on the side here, it tells you what they are. So you have um, the characters are Evil Queen, Maleficent, and Ursula. So Evil Queen, um, just one bite, I think it is. Yeah, Maleficent. Um, well, let's just look. Okay, let's just look <laughs> instead of me trying to say from memory. Okay, this is cool. So you open it up and it says, um, right here it says, one bite and all your dreams will come true. And it's kind of like in that old Eng English calligraphy. And then right here it says, um, evil queen, just one bite. That's her signature scent. Maleficent, mistress of evil. And then my daughter Maddie's favorite is Ursula, Poor Unfortunate Souls. So the packaging is just really cool. Right around the queen you have the mirror. And it looks like some thorns and the crow around Maleficent. And then Ursula um, flotsam and jetsam, her little eel um, thugs, <laughs> for lack of a better term. Um, oh, Wow, okay, it actually has the scent notes on here, but they're in, they're on a black packaging with purple font, and, oh, there's a little box that um, she was supposed to, she wanted the Huntsman to put Snow White's heart in. See, the attention to detail, I just keep finding all these things. Anyway, um, there's no way I can read this. I think I see the word apple looks like maybe this is in a couple different languages but that is like impossible to read so I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with me just like squinting at that um let's talk about these and by the way I actually picked up two sets because this was such a good deal so it was on sale for ten dollars for three bars now normally Disney or licensed bars are 650 a piece so two bars would be twelve. Wait, no, $13 for two bars. Um, we, we got three bars for 10. So my thought behind it is, even though there's one that I don't think I'm gonna like, I 
it was still cheaper this way and I can gift that one out. And that is actually the first one we're gonna talk about is just one bite. Um, I believe that this one is like an apple cinnamon scent. And I'm extremely picky on cinnamon. I won't say I completely dislike it because there's a couple scents out there that I that I like that have cinnamon in them, but um, Halloween Town is one that comes to mind. But the, uh, yeah, anyway, let's just smell this and see. I'm a little hesitant, but look at the packaging. You have the queen, you have um, the apple with the skull, which if you get the warmer, that's what the inside of the warmer dish looks like. Yeah, that is, it's actually a pretty nice fall scent, but um, to me it's just kind of a, I wouldn't call it super unique, kind of a generic um, apple cinnamon scent, and I definitely get the cinnamon. And this is a little, little bit oily, so it's actually going to make it better for me to be able to smell it, but, you know... I am warming up to fall scents more, where I could see if I put like one or two cubes in my open concept with um, Johnny Appleseed, a peeling apple, maybe even apple s'mores, although that does have cinnamon in it too. I think it would be okay, maybe caramel apple craze. Another spoiler alert, that's coming back. That's a great one. So yeah. Um, if you like cinnamon, I think you're really going to enjoy this. It is nice. I don't hate it, but it's just not really in my wheelhouse. So that's fine because I'm going to be able to gift it to someone. Um, and I know that the other two scents are going to be really good. So the next one is the one I'm most excited about. And this is Maleficent Mistress of Evil, which I believe has a plum note in it. So I'm surprised I never tried it before. Um, my friend gave me a cube of it to try two cubes I think like days before it went ineligible to add to Scentsy Club like one or two days before so I tried it I was like this is awesome I added it to my Scentsy Club and then um I went back to see if I could add like increase the amount and it was no longer eligible to add or increase in Scentsy Club so I just got it in there just in time but um now I can now I can have a couple more bars so yeah like I said I think this is a plum scent with some other stuff. Um, I think, it, I believe if I remember it, it's kind of, it sounded like it had like the plum deep fall vibes. But here we have um, Maleficent and on the cover we have some thorns and just like little decorations. Really cool cover. And I love the color of the wax. I love purple, so let's let's smell it here. That is so good. I love it. That This set is worth it just for this bar, in my opinion. So good. And you know, when I warmed it, I liked it even more than on cold. Um, it was a really good performer in my bathroom and really long lasting to where I thought I could probably put it in my open concept. And now I'll be able to play around with that and see, but... Mm. It's just such a nice fall plum scent. I love it. Although I would warm it year round, but I think that'll be really nice as we get into the cooler months here. And then the last one is Ursula Poor Unfortunate Souls. This is like an aquatic scent. And my daughter, Maddie, who's 10, is obsessed with this right now. <laughs> she totally loves this scent. And it's nice. It, it is. Um, I like aquatic scents, um, but it's not my favorite aquatic. It has a little bit of a sweetness to it, possibly a little bit of a floral. I am liking it more and more the more that she warms it. Um, and I have some ideas for mixing this that I think would be good. Yeah, I'm getting more of that sweetness. So it's like a sweet aquatic, but um, it's nice and she's gonna be really excited that we have more of that. Um, you almost just want to keep them in the package, um, just for how beautiful this packaging is. But that, anyway, is the, um, Villains Collection. 
And like I said, I got two bars or two packs of that. And those are sold out now. Um, which isn't surprising considering the price point on those. All right. So the last item we have is a warmer. I'm really excited about it. Um, because I've been eyeing this for about a year now. And I'll just tell you guys a little story. I wanted this warmer for my youngest two daughters room. Um, I think they're really going to like it because they really like the theme of it. And um, the warmer that I have in their room right now, it's not a scentsy warmer. It is like Better Homes and Gardens or something, but it not only does it get like hot, but it has a tiny dish where you can't put more than two cubes in there. Not that I usually use more than two cubes, but I would like a bigger dish in there and it's not sensey. <laughs> um, so I've been looking at this warmer for like a year about, and then I thought, okay, well maybe instead of that, I'll get them the August um, warmer of the month, which is absolutely beautiful by the way. Um, so I was thinking about doing that, but then this one went on sale and so I had to get it because I feel like it's been speaking to me for a while. Um, and let's unbox it and then I'll plug it in and show it to you guys. So it is none other than the Winnie the Pooh Honey Pot Warmer. Um, so you see on the packaging we have Winnie the Pooh right here holding up his honey pot trying to um, get the last bit of honey out and you probably can't see it on camera but the design in that blue strip there we have him doing that we have piglet him him running and holding piglet's hand and just a bunch of cute little designs once again the attention to detail on these things is amazing this is also a 25 watt ceramic warmer so I think I'm gonna get pretty good performance out of it. And it's a lampshade warmer, so I'll show you what that means, but it's unique in that sense. So the quote on here, the Disney ones um, often have quotes in line with the theme. So Winnie the Pooh theme, it says, isn't it funny how a bear likes honey? There's no such thing as too much honey. And it's spelled how they spell it in the books. Um, like how Christopher Robin would spell it, H-U-N-N-Y, one of the N's backwards. Really cute. Okay. They're going to be so excited because I've showed it to them in the catalog and they like it. They enjoy Winnie the Pooh, especially my four-year-old. She went through Winnie the Pooh phase. Um, and so I think I'm going to set it up on their dresser and not tell them and then just turn it on and have it be a surprise. They're going to love it. Okay. So, this is a unique warmer. Um, we have a couple warmers like this, but we don't get a whole lot of them. Um, in that it's the lampshade warmer. So, let me show you what I mean by that. What I mean by that is, instead of having, like, a base with, um, a separate dish and a separate um, outer piece. You have this and then you have this part which is all one piece. The dish is attached to the base. So, and I'll show you why they did that here. But let me show you this. Um, so here it says honey and it is that scene where um, Winnie the Pooh gets his rear end stuck in Rabbit's house, in Rabbit's hole, and so all his friends come to help pull him out. So it says on here, Rabbit's house, and then we have the front of him sticking out, and then Tigger's pulling, and Piglet, and Eeyore, and Kanga, and who is that? That looks like a little rabbit. I think Rabbit was in his house in this scene though. Um, and then we have like the little tree house there. Um, really cool attention to detail, nice ceramic. And then up here we have um, the top of the honey pot, we have a bee right here. 
And the reason that they did it one piece is, um, okay, so check out the dish. We see on licensed items a lot that the dishes have decorations inside. This has Winnie the Pooh's head, but then you have this um, detail of the honey dripping down, which is really cool. And you couldn't really do that and have it look authentic um, if it was a removable dish. So that's why they did it all as one piece like this. Um, and it's really cool. I'm really excited. So we're going to plug it in. We're going to see what it looks like lit up. It um, takes a 25 watt bulb. I'm pretty sure. So um, you could play around with the color bulbs. I just don't know how well they're going to show up. But I do think what I want to try to do, yeah, 25 watt bulb, is I want to try this with an orange bulb too. So I might um, pause the video and throw in an orange bulb and show you guys that. I am so excited. This was originally released, um, the Winnie Poo the Pooh collection I think was originally an LTO, limited time offer, and that's where I got my first Scentsy Buddy, which is Eeyore. My four-year-old loves him. She's had him for a couple years now almost. And then the Winnie the Pooh collection came as a full-time item to the fall winter catalog. So then I was like, okay, well, I have all season to buy this. Well, then it decided to stick around. So it's going to be in the next catalog as well. Okay. So it has the little cutout in the back, um, where your cord's going to go. And I don't think that this will necessarily put out a lot of light. You have those holes on top, but this is kind of this is going to be kind of weird to hold up and show you guys just because of the lampshade style. I didn't really plan this very well. I never do when I'm going to be showing more first. gonna be kind of hard to hold up because you have just this little piece here um but here we go that's cool just looking at the back um the characters show a lot more and um so you can really see Eeyore and that looks like rabbit at the end there so maybe it is um and then the tree house and yeah look how the characters just like pop out when it's lit up that's really special and neat um and it does have like an orange glow to it a little bit of a yellow glow so i'm gonna i don't know i don't know if i'm gonna put the orange um i guess i can put it in here just to compare just to show you guys but this is a pretty dim glow, so I think this is going to be um, nice just with a regular bulb and nice for in their bedroom. They use their Scentsy Warmer as a nightlight. So, hold on a second. Um, there it is off, on. Um, I'm going to go grab that orange bulb because it's just right over in the other room. So, hold on one second. I'm back. Um, I put an orange bulb on here. So now we're going to try this. Turn that. Turn that tight enough. There we go. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool too. Um, Honestly, there's not a huge difference. There is a difference. I mean, obviously it has more of that orange glow, which I actually kind of really like with the honey. Um, I think that's really cool. You can still see the characters pretty well. See, you could play around with different colored bulbs. I'm, I'm not sure like how some of the other ones would look. Um, but here's the orange, okay. So obviously you're not going to be able to take your dish out and like 
do the um, dumping method of getting rid of your wax, um, you're going to want to soak it up with, well, you could wait and turn it off until it starts to cool and then take it out, or you could soak it up with like a cotton ball or cotton cleanup. which I've been really digging the cotton cleanups lately. Okay. See, there's not a whole lot of difference. Um, the other one is a little bit more orange, but just the way that this um, ceramic is, it gives it that kind of glow anyway. So yeah, this is really cool. So tomorrow when they go to daycare, um, I'm going to set this up in their bedroom and then turn it on when they go to bed at night and see what they say. They're going to be really excited. And I'm excited too. This is a really cute warmer. Like I think you don't have to be a kid to have this. This would be really cute like in a kitchen or really anywhere. So um, that's the Winnie the Pooh warmer. It is in the current catalog and it will be in the upcoming catalog. Um, so if you missed out on the sale, that's okay. Um, it's $45 normally, six inches tall, 25 watt. And we have this whole Winnie the Pooh collection. So you can get the hundred acre wood wax, which is nice. It's definitely a very light wax. So it's good for kids or if you're sensitive to, um, strong scents. And then the Scentsy Buddies in Eeyore, Tigger, and Winnie the Pooh. And then you can get the Scent Pack in 100 Acre Woods, which is actually a decent performer. So there you have it. That is my, um, my clearance haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below. Let me know if you guys picked up anything in the recent um, clearance sale or the license item sale, whatever you want to call it. And um, I would love to hear what you got or what items you're looking forward to trying. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.